Okay, I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think why the tigers are eating less at night when they are supposed to eat all their food is because they have been snacking in between. There is a empty packet of crisps that well there's the evidence it must be that and so are you eating crisps while i'm preparing your dinner and then when you're getting your food you already ate i think that might be what was happening but tiger's got clean water i'll just have to go and pick up that hmm Right, I've just strapped the car gauge on there and with a sharp point on the front and that will turn and scribe a little circle right on there and then I can determine the center and get it perfect. Right, car gauge is set up. Now I'm just going to turn it over here. You can hear it scraping. I'm going to turn it a few turns just to make sure there's enough markings on for me to work with. But yeah, I just lined it up again according to the lines that were scribed all around it. The dogs are listening to make sure that it's perfectly fine. If the dog stops listening, you know it's not scraping. few more and then it will be done and there it is those markings on the top was the ones as I was setting it up to get it perfectly straight on there and the circle is the one that was scraped with that sharp point right over there now the reason why I use this dial indicator is because of this spring action. Because once you've got the plate on, that force is what is actually doing the drawing or bringing the sharp point in contact with the plate in order to be able to scrape that circle. Enzo is ready to eat and Diego as well. They're watching me all the time. They just know that it is time for food. So I'm going to be getting their food. They will be eating in the next 10 minutes. I'm just heating it up a little bit for them. Just the way they like it. Yeah. And for you as well. Cutest cat in the world. With my calipers, I just determined the center of that circle. And I made a cross in there, so that's the center. That's where I'm going to punch it and then drill the center hole. And from that point, that's where everything is being determined from. That is the most critical part. If that is out, everything is out. So that's why I did this myself, because I want to be sure that it's perfect. Okay, chickens are ready to go to bed. Just look at Hendrik over here. He's got a nice bed right there. Yeah. Lexi's already sleeping. got it clearly scribed everything is on here I can see what is going on here and it won't just go off the marks so I've sent the drilled all the holes that's an open tolerance it's not that the bolts are lining up the plate but there's two dull holes one over there and one over here so I measured it a few times because that's the size that needs to be perfect that is what will be lining this thing up so yeah and then on on the gearbox that's going to mount on here it's not a dowel hole or dowel pin it is going to be well on the circle that you see there there's going to be a spigot 
and that is going to line the gearbox up. So, <laughs> yeah, that is the part that needs to be perfectly aligned. The holes doesn't really matter that much. They're just there to keep the plate on. But those dull holes and pins need to line up exactly. Well, I'm busy on the other side drilling those holes. And I just explained to Zach, I could have taken him with him and Sachis, but they pee on everything. I just can't. I'm sorry. You guys are going to have to wait here for me. There's no way you guys are going to pee in my tool room. And then I have to smell it for the rest of, well, eternity, I guess. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll just take a nice nap. Okay, so don't be fooled by this rust on this drill. It's just because I didn't use it for a couple of years, but it's working great. Drilling the holes, just using a little paraffin over there to lubricate it. That's what you use when you cut aluminium. Yeah, in America they call it aluminum. In South Africa we call it aluminium. And in Afrikaans it's aluminium. So it's basically the same thing, you just pronounce it different. Yeah, cutting those holes or drilling the holes, they will be drilled in the next half an hour. Right, the holes are drilled. Now it's just the dalpin holes, the ones that's lining this whole thing up, the important ones, with, if I can put it like that. Okay, so I just used the center to find the exact spot for that hole and then I clamped it down with these clamps and now I'm going to use an old ball nose cutter that I have. Here it is and it's exactly the right size. I'm just going to lift this one up, take the center out, put this one in and then cut that hole. Here, yeah, it's going to be perfect exactly the size that I need. It's perfect. Cutting it out is quite a job, but just get started. If you start, you will find that you are making progress. Well, I used the bandsaw first with a wooden blade and I cut it there and there. And then you have to turn the blade and it's not going to happen. So I just decided, well, then I'll just draw the rest out. So I'm almost done. I just have to break that part off now. You just knock it on that corner and it breaks off and then you will have to file it down a little bit so yeah that's coming up next right so my lathe is a little small for this job but I will just modify it a little bit there's a part right there that I can grind out and then it will fit and if you've ever wondered what the stop part of a lathe is for, well, that's where you put your cup of coffee. Yeah, it looks a bit ridiculous, such a big job in such a small lathe. But <laughs> believe me, this lathe will do it. Okay, just use this band emery board machine <laughs> and smooth it up on the outside. I'm not done with it on the outside. I'll finish it perfectly when I'm done with it. But for now, Zach and Sachis is screaming from way on the other side. They want me to go spend some time with him. So, yeah, I'm going to first do that. Okay, so why am I stopping right now?
Because I have to feed the tigers. Yeah, Enzo. He just wants to smell what have I been keeping myself busy with. That is the smell of aluminium. Enzo, right. Let me get them their food they will be eating in the next few minutes. <laughs> Zach and Sachis. I, I just don't know how I can explain to them that sometimes I have to not be right with them. <laughs> okay, let me get going. Okay, it's time for little smarty pants to taste chicken. And, well, I don't know if we're going to be able to call her Lucy. Oh, smarty pants just ate both. Because, yeah, I think it's a male. And the male version of Lucy is, hmm, it's a little, it's a little much, I think. So, yeah, but they're doing it exactly like I thought, ex except, hmm, well, let's just call him Lucy still for now. He's just not eating it like Smarty Pants is. Okay, <laughs> uh, let me see if he's going to get used to it. He probably doesn't know what meat is, but Katya's doing good over there. Okay, Smarty Pants, you're getting some more. When Zack and Sachis don't eat their food, well, these lot will. All right, I'm back to work. I've got still some things to finish on the adapter plate and I'll be done a little later. to grind a slot there in the bed of the lathe in order to get this loaded up here but it's up and it's perfectly fine so there it is it is waiting for me to cut it and that will happen tomorrow I'm not gonna do that right now but yeah it is quite a job but it's nice to see it works and now this lathe can take bigger things well I just grinded where this specific plate is running so it will be able to be used for jobs like this in the future but that's enough for today I am done Right, Diego has decided to get up. Now he was sleeping just a few seconds ago and I just threw in the leftover chicken from last night and he's getting up. He's not really hungry but he saw one going almost underneath that platform over there. So there he is. He's probably going to eat it but he's not going to just eat it he needs to be convinced first yeah that's the difference between a tiger in captivity that's got access to a lot of food and a tiger I guess in the wild that does not he gets to be picky I think he's first going to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Enzo, here comes Enzo. Let's see if he's going to take one. I don't think so because he's busy with his morning walk. <laughs> Enzo, sissy is just hanging out over here. Just look at that, doing some tricks for us. <laughs> yeah, she was just against that fence. Now I get a little nervous when they do that. They are right against it. And Enzo walked past and just sniffed her straight out. And yeah, then I feel better to know the way that he treats them all. 
but it's still a little difficult to just accept. <laughs> Yeah, they learn about each other all the time and they do get used to one another. But there's no way she is going in there. Well, let me get started. I've got a lot of things to do today. Enzo is going to take his walk and when he's done, he's probably going to eat some chicken. Yeah, let me get going. Okay, I just bought this little thing because I think I can use it. And the boys were here just a second ago, but I was too slow. And I bought a hose for my compressor. And I bought a vernier. Well, it's in here, believe me. I'm going to be using it to measure that spigot on the Porsche gearbox. So I can cut it on the adapter plate. And get the Porsche going again. Diego, he wants to come and see this. It's blue. I think it's his favorite color. He likes to see blue things. Diego, do you want this? Well, that is Tiger 4. Don't ask stupid questions. <laughs> Enzo, Enzo's coming back. Enzo, look at this. This little thing just magnifies everything and it holds it still for you so you can see it. Okay, so first I'm going to cut the part where the gearbox bolts onto. That is just a rough open size, doesn't matter on the outside, but that spigot that it's going to form on the inside right there, well, that is going to be the most important part to cut exactly on the side. I'm going to be taking a five minute break. Okay, so I have to say, you're going to have to have some experience as a turner to do this. It's a little complicated. I have to also keep in mind that that plug gauge over there is checking how much that center is running out. Okay, so there is a big rat right there. Yeah, this is very difficult for me. I like rats. Okay, the dogs are all so happy. All of the dogs and the tigers as well. Well guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And like always, have a good day. Enzo, show us your teeth. No, maybe tomorrow he won't.